qué? Mom, show me how you used to dance in the 80s. Ah, como bailaba yo en los 80. Ok, bueno, es como un bailecito así, mira. Mom, what is this? What are you doing? Why aren't you doing like a cool dance? Pero qué, chica, si bailaba yo con tu papi. Oh, my God. We go cada sábado to Las Pachanga in the Polish American Club. Ay, uh, how am I supposed to become TikTok famous if you keep acting weird when I'm trying to do trends, bro? Zabritza, I wasn't sure if your toilet paper was ethically sourced or non-GMO, so I used a hand tap. Stop. Zabritza, you did not tell me that your mom is a total fashion icon. Oh. Excuse me, what? Are you kidding me? First my abuela and now this? Uh huh. This lady right here, whose entire style inspo is to look like the ladies on the posters on the walls and in hair salon, they look like this. This person right here who looks like if Cruella DeVille loved leopards more than donations? Yeah. This human being who dresses as if the computerized closet in Clueless became sentient and wanted to destroy the entire fashion world? Mm-hmm. Claro, Larissa. I tell you many times que I know style, pero you don't listen to me. Oye, niña, do you need some advice on how to look this good? Porque tú sabes, I'm already a hairstylist. So it would be super easy for me to be a fashion stylist. I just have to do like this on my business card. No, no, no. All I want to know is, where did you get those mesh floral slippers that everyone's obsessed with? Estos. Oh, um, excuse me, what? I mean, did you not see Sydney Sweeney wearing them after watching Sweeney Todd in Sydney, Australia with her sweetie? Girl, you should know this. These embroidered flat mules are going to be the it summer show. Espérate, I think I got too much water in my ears from La Piscina. Say that again. Esta zapatilla. My house sleeper. I love, 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 love the purple, but it's sold out everywhere. Thankfully, I'm really good at networking, and there's this guy whose cousin I met at a bar one time, and like, they hooked me up with the lime green ones. <sighs> um, Bex, no offense, but be offended. Um, you do realize that those are all lady slippers. And I don't mean like cutesy grandma core stuff, but like middle-aged. And I'm sorry, gonna kill me, but nothing middle-aged is cool. The word mid is right there. Ah, okay, bueno, Larissa, no exagere, okay? I know you think I'm old, pero yo no soy de los middle-ages. ¿Qué tú crees? Que yo fui a la escuela en un dragón con King Arthur y Robin Hood. Even though I do like a man in tights. I mean, like the cartoon fox was like super hot. But anyway, no, I mean middle-aged. Like halfway through your life. Like all the best years are behind you. Like it's all downhill from here. For you. Pues estás equivocada, okay? I'm not middle-ages. Esa tu tía Flor. For your information, I am pre-early post young adult. Y tu chica? All of this to love about my fashion things. And all you can focus on are my chancleta. Tu sabes que this is a new. Right? I used to wear this in my 20s. Yeah, but these nasty slippers have been around since the dawn of time. Well, yeah, that's why these are so cool. They were immensely popular in the Y2K era, and now they're squarely in the retro category and soon to be in the um, vintage status. <sighs> gave me chills, you guys. And I'm sorry, it's so much better than the 2004 Old Navy flip-flop trend, like. Flip-flop. Oye, pero esta niña está obsesionada con chancleta. Pero you know why? 
because she never had to deal with any of this. Stop it! I know how to block those now. I'm like Neo in the Matrix. Oh. I haven't been stretching. Besides, those don't even hurt. I would be more worried about how dirty they are. Uh-huh, exactly. You step outside in the wet glass, y boom, ya. You're a sucia with shoes on. Yeah, you're gonna end up with little cuadritos on your feet filled with street caca. Like little caquita cuadritos. Caca squared. To the power of caca. Me da lastima decirte esto, pero these shoes are so poorly made that the only quality material is the duct tape keeping it together. I don't even really consider them shoes. They're like the LaCroix of footwear. You know, like somebody whispered zapato into like the bottom of a fishnet stocking and left it in the freezer overnight. Uh-huh. And they're not even comfortable. It's like somehow they're too tight and too loose at the same time. It's like someone put a hospital sock in a congelador. That's literally what I just said, bro. You need to pay attention if we're gonna do tag team roasting. These are the kind of slippers I would only consider wearing if my mom was like outside honking her horn like super annoying like she always does and she wants my help with the groceries. And then I just have to like slip on some like whatever shoes and like go outside and like carry them back in, okay? Like even in that case, they are the last possible option, okay? I would rather slip my feet into two chicken McNugget cajitas to help my mom with a mandao, okay? We did these fashion trends back then so you girls wouldn't have to. Okay, we ran in these so that you can roll in your wheelies. <sighs> Say what you will, but these were popular back then for a reason. Trends are cyclical and now they're back. Like a boomerang. Fashion is not about liking what you wear or being comfortable or looking good in it or being satisfied with the personal choices that you've made throughout your entire life. Fashion is about wearing the thing that is too expensive for other people to wear. Ing. Mira chica. Out of curiosity, how much did you pay for those? I got these at Free People for a steal for only $25.99. Oh my god, que pena.com. Like, I am super, but I'm super hating this timeline, bro. Like, get me out of here. Like, you spent 26 freaking dollars on those disgusting zapatillas at Free People? When my mom gets them at Valsan for like, what? Two nickels and a half full of blueberries. These slippers are practically free, people. Shh, callate. What? Shh. Tú sabes qué, niña, you're right. You know, I was just being, como dicen los jóvenes hoy en día, a gator. You know, I was housekeeping these shoes and track lighting you. I just didn't want you to copy my estilo, pero that's not fair, so I want to help you out. You said the purple ones are sold out, so like, what if my mom can get them for you for like 30? OMG, yes! <gasps> Eight. 38.99 plus um tax and delivery um and a convenience fee and also like um tip and gratuity so like um, 46 dollars <laughs> yes whatever i would kill to have the purple ones <gasps> just so you know that's a real offer in case you know whatever and what if I go get you all the colors and all the sizes? Una cajota así, llena de estas zapatitas bien linda. You would pay full price, 
for all of them? Yes, of course. I would literally wear them with every single outfit. I would match with all the colors, like turquoise and peach and lime. And Well, I have my lime ones, but there's like, you know, like different shades of green, you know what I'm saying? Like there's hunter green and there's forest green and there's olive green. And you know, like I recently had like my skin tone checked to see like if I'm like a warm winter or like a cool summer. And they told me that I'm actually a warm winter, right? I look really good with like vibrant colors. Like I have to stay far away from pastels. Like it's a miracle that I even look good right now in this cardigan, but it's because I got a tan. So I think that now changes me into like an autumn summer, a true winter summer. Just so we're clear, um, you don't need me to kill anyone? No? No. Okay, um, well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's, it's a real offer. Like, I would, <laughs> whatever, just kidding. But, like, not kidding. Um, like, it's, I just want you guys to know that it's on the table. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, I'm totally joking. Like, look at your faces. I'm just a silly girl in the world, you know? <laughs> Unless... I have skills. I'm technically from Destin, Florida. Like, I think I was a Cali girl in a past life. Like, my dog psychic told me. Um, just to be clear, I don't mean my dog's psychic. I mean my dog psychic, which is different.